Okay, so I'm going to talk to you about a controversial topic that I think is very important to discuss with you. That subject being sexuality. I'm going to start by identifying myself as a heterosexual. In all honesty, I don't know how to say that or explain myself, but I think that it is something I should say. I have, have I found other men attractive? Sure, but don't we all? The point is, I don't find men to be sexually appealing. I would never go for a guy romantically. My goal is to find the right girl, make her the new Mrs. Tim, and have children with her. Live as happy a life as is possible. Now, I have a connection with the gay community. While I was in middle school, I was labeled as gay. While I did act a little feminine and talk about things I didn't understand that caused submission, those were two years of hell. It gave me to understand what it's like to be gay, to be ashamed of who I am, to be embarrassed of me, to think there's something wrong with me, to not want to live, to not want to go to school out of fear of being bullied. The thing is I don't deserve to live. Just die. I think hell is better than earth. It was just awful. But I truly understand what it feels like. I actually understand what it feels like to be gay. And I cannot say, in all honesty, that it will get better because that's a load of horseshit. What I can say is, hang in there. Be you, not just who everyone else wants you to be. And your man says, say, have you tried not being gay? Just say you are who you are, and it's not, and they're not going to change. If anyone else has a problem, anything to say about it, just ignore them. Be you. So you get bullied, they're stupid, and you might as well peak at 16 and go downhill from there. They'll be complete failures in life while you are making something bigger than yourself. You see, mountain? You keep right up the walking up that mountain. You can do it. Just don't give up. I also, now I also have a lesbian family. My wonderful cousin. She's the sister I always wanted, and has always been there for me, always talks to me, cares, and loves me. Not everybody gets a cousin like that. I've known my cousin was a lesbian since I was in middle school, and she was in college. She is one of the pushers on top of those ignorant assholes. Without her, I would never have the courage to get through middle school and be alive. She's kind, caring, loving, and an amazing woman. She always makes time for me. She, is a par she has a partner that has been together since I was in middle school. She has a huge and kind and loving heart. Always takes time for me. While I learned my cousin was a lesbian, I was fine with it from right from the start. She's my cousin, and will never be less original because of her sexuality. I am very accepting of homosexuality. My cousin's partner is family too. She's my cousin. Not genetically, but she's still my cousin. The two of them raised me since I was little, and I don't care what anyone else says, there's nothing wrong with homosexuality. Same sex, ma sex marriage being legal has made me happy that true love is true love, and should have the same rights as everyone else. Another sexuality topic is transgender. I'm going to continue this topic later on, but let's talk about cross-dressing. There have been several movies and that probably portray this, this practice. Who doesn't like someone like to get hot? How get hot? This movie has cross-dressing in a fun sense, but logical. I like certain other movies. Let's also talk about Big Mama's House. The man cross-dresses undercover operative and still wins our hearts. I could go on, but I think I'm going to start to stop here. And we'll talk about sexuality in a later clip. Let's move on.